If you haven't seen how to make a model Viking boat for a funeral part one, I'd suggest you have a look at that first before looking at this video uh, because it'll make a lot more sense to you. If you've already seen it, then come along for this ride. Okay, so now I can flip it over and do some serious shaping. And I found the best way to do this is to use a wood saw. One of these, some nice big teeth, and then just start dragging it along. Okay, so now that before we go too much further, I'll give this a bit of a clean up because it can get really out of hand. So I'll give this a sweep up. I had a talk to the people who uh, want this uh, Viking burial ship. Uh, and just getting the fine points down, I said to them, the ashes aren't going to burn and they're also going to float. So we have to figure out what we do with them and how they want them to end up. It turns out what we're going to do is we're going to put them into urns with the whole in the urn and so the boat will burn and sink the urns will go down to the bottom of the river and the ashes will just slowly leach out over time down the river and wherever so I just had to get clear what they wanted to happen um, and that's the way it's going to work out Right, I'll clean this up very quickly. Now that we've got it basically starting to take shape, I want to refer back to the original design and get our profile correct is vitally important in a Viking ship. Because there's a lot of material to still be taken off. So what I'm going to do is with a marker pen just roughly get the same sort of profile shape as I'm trying for. And I'm just going to draw it on the side uh, which I'll show you and then I can start taking material away again so it starts at about there very rounded as they are same on the other side so, there we go see that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that away so we're getting closer and closer to the real shape of a Viking ship
on the other side. Now that I've taken the bulk of the material away, I'm going to start refining the shape of the hull, and I'm going to do that with a small serrated knife. This is a real good little tool for doing this sort of fine work. So I'll start refining the design down. Keep your mouth shut when you're doing this sort of work. <laughs> 